right, sir. Are you Mr. Lindsay? Yes, sir. Okay. Let me go ahead and swear you in. Raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm the testimony you've given this cause to be true and correct? Okay. Um, how old are you? Sixteen. Sixteen. Are you in school at this time? Yes, sir. Where? Yes. Okay. You're enrolled or you're attending? Okay. Because uh, I believe you've been involved in our truancy court. Do you still live at 817 15th Street South, number E101, St. Petersburg? Okay. Uh, sir, are you here with him? Yes, sir. And you are? Yes, father. Okay. And your name? Lucas Lamont Senior. Okay. Same address? No, but I'm going to address. Okay. If you want to ensure that you receive notice, then what I want you to do, the sheriff is going to give you a form that you can fill out uh, where you'll receive the, uh, all the court notices. We'll continue to send them uh, to Mr. Lindsay's primary address on 15th Street. And uh, uh, his mother, is that Miss Sweat or Sweet? Yes, sir. Okay, and you're the father. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, the public defender has indicated they have spoken to Mr. Lindsay and that they, one, believe they um, should be appointed, that he would qualify for the appointment of the public defender. Do you agree with that? You, are you in a position to hire him a lawyer? Okay. All right. Mr. Lindsay, uh, I am going to appoint you the public defender. They have asked to waive the formal reading stipulated to a finding of probable cause and a finding that you should remain in secure detention. Are you comfortable with that? Okay. All right. Well, we will go ahead and uh, I will note the stipulation, but further that I have reviewed the complaint in this petition, which is 11869, and will find probable cause and order that you be held in secure detention awaiting further action. Now, you have a lawyer. They'll be able to answer your questions. Uh, because of the nature of the charge and because of your age, it is, uh, there is a very high probability that this case will not remain in juvenile court, that this case will be transferred to the adult division. That's not my decision and it's not your decision at this point. Uh, this will be a decision made by the state attorney after a review and evaluation of the facts and circumstances. While that process is taking place, once again, you're represented by the public defender and you will be held here in secure detention. Any questions about that? No, sir. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Absolutely. On behalf of me, last time, our entire family, we said our deepest of souls and sympathy to the family and his colleague that he worked with. It's not on this side, but I'm sorry that it happened. Well, well there, there's no question that the allegations in this incident are traumatizing and hit. Um, all of the feelings of the residents of not just St. Petersburg, but of uh, the entire state, if not the nation. Uh, and that uh, I know all of those people uh, are gratified to hear your comments at this most difficult time and at the start of what will be a long journey as we work through the justice system. But uh, thank you for being here and thank you for the courage to make those statements. Okay? Thank you, sir.
Yeah. I can't do that. I, I can't do that. Okay. Sir, on page three, I believe Derek Little was brought to your court this morning by detainees. Okay. Just. just.